Hi, hello. Today we will talk another sliding window question. This question is diet plan performance. Let's see what this question is all about. All right. So this question says there is a dieter. That person consumes calories every day. So suppose on day zero, he consumes two calories, three on the first day and so and so. We have to tell the score point. So on K consecutive days, if the consumed calories are less than our lower limit, we will give him minus one. If the consumed calories are greater than the upper limit, we will give him plus one. If the consumed calories are within the range, in that case, we give him zero point. Considering these are the provided rules. Considering these rules, we have to tell at the end what how much point he has scored. So we have to tell the score points. Now, considering all these provided things, let's see if we can apply some coding pattern. They have given us an array. They are, they are expecting a score point. So score point will be something like an int. And how we will calculate? We have to calculate like in k consecutive days, we have to apply some rules on those k, k uh, consecutive days, whatever consumed calories, we have applied these rules and then we get some points that accumulated we have to return at the end. Now considering all these given things, we can see that ray, there's a point which is being calculated within k consecutive days, looks like a window of size k and there are some rules that will apply on the case size window. So we can definitely apply a fixed size sliding window. Now how we will implement, so let's take some example. Uh, let's keep it here. So let's suppose we have some calories. Now in these calories, let's suppose the case size is equal to three. So we were talking about a window of size three. So once we have that window, we can calculate whatever the consumed calories in these days. So we will apply the rules, what was given. And on applying these rules, we will calculate points we have to give him. Either we have to provide him minus one, we have to give him plus one, or he scores zero. And at the end, we will just return the answer by summing them all. So each move of this window, let's suppose it moves next. So we get three points again, that's a possible candidate. We will apply the rule, we will consider either we have to give him some points and no, then again, we will slide the window further on the, these three uh, uh, consecutive days. We will, whatever the consumed calories, we will apply the rule and we will see that does he score the point or no. Now talking about the coding template, what we will use, we will again use the same coding template, which will be our calories and we will zip with index. We will fold left and here we will consider zero index. That will be our left pointer how much uh, calories he has consumed in k consecutive days, we will consider zero. And how much points he has scored, we consider zero. And in after the pattern match, we can say, this is left, that is consumed, and these are the score point. And here, we will give that these are the calories for today. And that will be the right pointer. And then finally, what we will do, we will implement our rules here and by calculating all the, applying all those rules we will just return the answer at the end that's it that will be the pretty simple solution this is the same what we did in the previous question let's go to the code and see how we can solve this welcome back so we already know that we can solve this problem using fixed size sliding window coding pattern how we will implement, we already know the coding template. We will say calories dot zip with index dot full left. And here we'll say the left pointer will be on index zero and consumed calories, all consumed calories within K days will be zero initially and point scored will be zero. Now we will move forward here. We'll pattern match. We'll say this is left. That will be consumed calories. And these will be the points which he has scored. 
So it is just pattern match zero for left, zero for consume, zero for point. And we will say calories of the current day and that will be the right pointer. That's it. Now what we will do, first we will we will get the window, window size, which will be right minus left plus one. And now we will calculate new consumed calories, which will be consumed plus cal, cal of today. Now, once we have got the new consume and the window size, we can compare the window right now we have, is it equal to K? Is it equal to K consecutive days or no? If it is not reached the K consecutive days, what we will do, we will keep the left pointer there and we will say these are the new consumed and the point will remain same because we never apply the rule yet. And here we are going to apply the rule. The rule is pretty simple. We will calculate the new point. And the new point, it is simply that calculation when we say that if new consumed is less than, because we have reached the window size, now we are going to apply the rule. We say if new consumed is less than lower than point minus one. And if we say else if new consumed is greater than upper so the dieter has consumed calories which was upper than greater than the upper limit we give him 0.1 and in the else part if the calories consumed are within the range we will just keep return the same point here we are going to shift the window we are going to slide the window right so we will move the left pointer one step ahead and we will say new consumed we will minus the calorie of the left index day because we are shifting the window so it will we have to minus the calorie of, of, of the left pointer so we will say calories at left index and here we will just provide the new point and finally once we have done everything we will return underscore three which will point the point so this is one this is two and that's three so we return at the end number of point which he has scored let's run the code that's it it works really thanks